Hi, today we are going to discuss about Zscaler Cloud App Control and DLP policies. Zscaler Cloud App Control has a capabilities uh, to protect and give a granular access for your applications. For an example, in a mail, uh, you can uh, view the mails, but you cannot send the mails, or you can send the mail, but you cannot send an attachment. So that kind of capabilities are there with the uh, Zscaler Cloud App Control. And also it has a capability called tenant uh, restrictions. So that means only the corporate tenants can be accessed uh, uh, and the personal tenants will be blocked. For example, here I'm taking an example for Gmail and G Drive where I have a corporate account as well as I have a personal account. My personal accounts will get blocked uh, and only the corporate accounts will be accessible. Before that, let's see how DLP can be protected in line with the help of Zscaler Client Connector and the Cloud App Control policies. Here I, I have a uh, personal account in Gmail and G Drive. So I just open it. Uh, I'm trying to upload some uh, data, so which have uh, um, confidential data uh, in it. So the policy is getting failed, whereas I'm trying to upload some other files which there is no confidential data which are getting allowed. The same way I'm trying to upload uh, these two attachments uh, uh, into the G drive and uh, I could see the upload is started. And I try to upload the same file into uh, G drive and the file is getting blocked. Let's see how the DLP configuration is there. So you can go to uh, policy under policy, the DLP policy list are there. You can just take a, a DLP uh, policy list. So where I, you could see there are two policies. One is active and the action is blocked. Another one is uh, disabled mode. So you could see a uh, DLP policy is there and DLP engine is uh, confidential and the action is blocked. So let's see the DLP engine, what it is configured. You could see there is a uh, confidential uh, DLP engine and the action is a dictionary uh, which should give a value uh, trigger at least once will be um, showcased like uh, uh, the data breach, right? So here go to the dictionary and see what exactly this particular uh, dictionary is referring. Um, here, so there are some personal uh, patterns and phrases. These are, uh, if this is matched, then the transaction will be blocked. Now let's go to analytics and web insights and you can see uh, certain logs which are getting blocked uh, with the help of uh, DLP, right? So you can use uh, analytics log mode. So there are a lot of um, allow policies. Let's use uh, policy actions to identify the uh, only the block transactions so that we can see only the limited data over here. So there are a lot of firewall control policies. We can skip that. Um, here, you could see violates complaints category and mailbox, right? When you go here, there are two uh, uh, URLs are referred here. One is upload drive. So this is for the Gmail, uh, G drive. And you could also see uh, upload for the files as well. So, so here, when you see here, this is on the mailbox. So mailbox is same, while it's complaints category, I choose mailbox. So which violation is happened? So you can see the date, it's on the DLP and the uh, testing is a beta test. And also you could see the details around that, like uh, a file uh, is, uh, is on the web mail and also the file sharing. And also you could see the domain violation 
validation checks and the hashing values of that files, et cetera, et cetera, or will be listed here. So you can download this and you can use it for your further investigations. In the same way, you can upload uh, uh, the files into your corporate account. So this is uh, the corporate account like uh, end with itsecurity.com and I'm trying to upload something on this particular tenant, okay? So I'm just comp composing the file and trying to upload this uh, DLP test and I'm getting an error. Now I'm trying to upload another file and this is allowed, right? So that means this attachment is having some confidence data and it is blocked. And the same way I'm going to G, G drive and trying to upload the same file and see what exactly is happening. I'm uploading the DLP, um, test file and the file is getting um, blocked here and you could see the file is not uploaded and the status is shows us failed. Right, in the same time, I'm trying to upload another file. Test on two, three and the test on two, three file is getting allowed. Okay, so now what you can understand here is only uh, the the files which doesn't have a DL, dlp uh, engine triggered or the confidential data uh, those are getting uploaded but others are getting blocked so now let's see how we can protect uh, accessing a personal mail id from the corporate devices in order to do that, we have an option called tenant restrictions. So the tenant restriction option under Zscaler uh, will, will help you to configure only the corporate data and the corporate uh, domains will be allowed. The Gmail personal IDs will be blocked. When you go to administration, under administration, you have uh, uh, tenant profiles. Under prof tenant profiles, uh, the very first recommendation is you need to ensure that SSL inspection is enabled on your corporate. So I have already created a tenant uh, like uh, itsecurity.com and uh, the tenant profile name is itsecurity gmail. Okay, once you create this uh, tenant, you need to attach this tenant information into the cloud app control. When you go to cloud app control, you have policies uh, for each uh, um, classes of Cloud App Control. So like collaboration, online meeting, and also productivity, CRM, file sharing, right? G Drive is under file share. Let's uh, enable uh, the G Drive policies it's here. And G Drive policies is saying like, uh, um, uh, enable this rule and uh, uploading is allowed. Uh, only for the tenant profile, IT security hyphen Gmail. So that means only this particular tenant is allowed to um, uploading any files, but the personal mail IDs will not be open for you. The same way, let's configure um, Cloud App Control for, for webmail as well. So here you could see the webmail, which is for Gmail uh, and policy number two. We just edit that rule and enable this rule, right? So here what is configured, it's a cloud app uh, application called Gmail and uh, uh, action is uh, allowed, sending mails, sending attachment is allowed uh, and the tenant profile is uh, this one. So that means this allow attachments can be possible and the sending attachment is possible only if for the tenant profile at security gmail so all other tenants will be blocked including personal one right so let's see how the configuration is works in our real uh, real time infrastructure let's save these configurations ensure that uh, both are okay this is not any enabled so let's enable this as well Jit.
we can activate these uh, changes. Then let's jump into the personal uh, account and see how the, um, the policies are working for him. If the policies wanted to affect immediately, then you need to go to more and update policy. Once you update these policies, all the new configurations will be reflected on our system. Let's jump in and see. Now I'm trying to access gmail.com. Yeah, now you could see a message. The service is not available. Gmail is not available uh, within this network. So the kind of message will receive. So the same way I'm trying to access G drive as well. So the same is also giving an error message like a service is not available. I'm trying to access uh, the personal, uh, the corporate one instead of personal. Let's see gmail.com. It is redirecting to uh, itsecret.com mailbox and I'm able to open it in the same time. Um, the personal one is getting blocked. So in this way, you can ensure that your data is protected uh, from your personal accounts and your corporate accounts will be allowed. If you want to have any kind of uh, DLP policies, you can apply that DLP policies on your corporate uh, tenant. So the, the cloud app control and DLP policies are predominantly work together if you want to protect your data, uh, especially the confidential data or sensitive data for, within your corporate. So you can go block the personal accounts of your employees and allow them to access only the corporate accounts from the corporate patients. If they wanted to access a personal accounts, you can provide the access to them to access it, but not download anything or not send an attachment, something like that. That will protect your corporate data uh, from the personal uh, tenants. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.